Oh wait 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 wait. Have you have you heard the word? No. About a bear 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 bear. <laughs> Hi, I'm Federico Pistono, author of Robots Will Steal Your Job, but that's okay. Here for Ask an Expert, the show where we take your questions from the Twitterverse about the topics we cover at SU. Boom, boom, boom. All right, what do we got now? We got, we got, uh, got. <laughs> Evan Huddleston asks, what do you think about Asimov's three laws of robotics? Hmm, interesting. So for those of you who don't know, the three laws of robotics were proposed by the great sci-fi and scientist Isaac Asimov, whereby the three major rules potentially could define the ethical behaviors of machines and robots in society to peacefully coexist with humans. And specifically, if I remember correctly, where a robot shall not harm a human being, a robot shall preserve itself unless it conflicts with the first rule, and a robot may not harm other robots unless it conflicts with the previous two rules. Now, there are problems of consistency within this because you see the definitions are very important. We ourselves don't even know how we define beneficial, hurting, loving. These are all kind of very fluid definitions because humans don't have a structural, consistent natural language. And so programming these things into robots is incredibly difficult. In fact, it is arguable that it's proved to be mathematically impossible by Gödel's incompleteness theorems over 50 years ago. So we don't really know how to address this problem. And the best that we can think of right now is to put a lot of safeguards into the algorithms as they learn and as they are self-reinforcing and they're gathering information from outside the external world. <laughs> Alan at Astra Materia. Ooh, stuff from the stars. What lessons can we learn from the Thai.ai chatbot disaster? Ooh, very interesting. Now, for those of you who don't remember, some time ago, Microsoft put out a deep learning algorithm running on the Twitter sphere, Twitterverse, that would learn from the community, from the Twitter community, how to speak and how to interact. And it used to be the avatar of, I think, a 14-year-old girl from the United States. And pretty quickly, things escalated. It turned essentially in a little over a week, maybe two, into a Nazi-loving, swearing chatbot. This kind of happened because there were a bunch of trolls on the internet that fed that kind of information to the bot by replying to Twitter, but also some people who are actually Nazi sympathizers or not very nice people. And so this is a cautionary tale for us. It's not so much what we tell the robot to do in its initial programming, because we have no basic understanding of the mind. And so the logic approach, the mathematical approach to artificial intelligence has been kind of out the window for the past 30 years. We've been focusing more on self-reinforcement and self-learning. So deep learning, neural networks, these are the kinds of algorithms that we've been using thanks to the augmentation in computational power that we have. So with this approach, what it means is that the information you feed into the machine defines the behavior and the understanding that the machine creates of the world around it. So if the understanding that we receive is full of hate, violent, <laughs> Nazi-inspired trolls, or make America great again kind of talk, then that's what it's going to learn. So we shouldn't be so much worried about machines per se, but more about us really, because we define what the machines do. My name is Federico Pistono. I'm the author of Robots Will Steal Your Job, but that's okay. Thank you for watching Ask an Expert. Check back next week for a new episode. And don't forget to click uh, here, somewhere here, to subscribe to SU. And you can follow me on Twitter at Federico Pistono. All right, we got another question here. Oh, f it's a drone! <laughs>